We're going to look at how to solve a problem similar to 2014 fall number 14 where you have to build triangles from raw claims data. Now these numbers are different from the actual exam problem but it's otherwise the same. You have to build accident year paid and reported claim triangles starting with these individual claims. Now notice how the data is laid out. It looks similar to the alternate triangle format that we looked at uh, in the previous section. You've got calendar year information for 2018, 2019, 2020, separated into the paid amounts and the ending outstanding, uh, ending case outstanding amounts. So let's jump for a moment to the solution to see what we have to do. The solution has four steps, but we're only going to talk in detail about step one here. The other three steps are straightforward once you've done step one, and there are links in the wiki to the full solution, as well as some practice problems, so you can look at that in more detail later. Anyway, the idea is to take the given claims data and organize it into a table like this. You've got a row for each accident year, uh, but it's summed across all report years. And the result is a triangle that again looks a little bit like the alternate triangle format. So let's go back to the question. How are you going to make sense of all this information? Well there's a little trick. Notice first that the table is sorted uh, first by accident year and then by report year. So we've got accident year uh, 2018, then 2019, then 2020. So the trick is to draw horizontal lines to separate out the different accident years, like this. Once you've done that, you just add up the numbers in all these different boxes. For example, uh, for accident year 2018, to get the calendar year paid amount summed across all report years, we add up these four numbers. Well, there's only one number, so the sum is 700. Let's check the solution. So, this is where the 700 gets slotted in. Let's try another one. Let's do accident year 2018, but calendar year 2019, summed overall report years, so 6, 700, 13, 21, 27. So, let's see where the 2700 goes. Okay, it goes right there. So um, you do the same thing for all of these other boxes and you'll fill in this table, doing the same thing also for the ending case outstanding amounts. Uh, now, let's take a look at the full solution. Um, so looking, zooming in just on steps one and two, uh, I've color-coded the cells in step one to make it easy to see where those numbers need to be transferred in step two. So 700, 700, 27, 27, 2300, 2300, and so on. Um, basically you're just converting the alternate triangle format from step one into the standard triangle format in step two. Now let's zoom out and zoom in on steps two and three. So to get from step two to step three, the cumulative paid values, you just take, you just sum across the rows in the incremental paid triangle. So that's easy. Uh, now let's include step four in the picture. So to get the cumulative reported claims, you add the cumulative paid claims from step three to the case outstanding from step two. All right, now let's look at a variation on this problem. So this is the same except you have to build report year triangles for, uh, the, you have to build report year paid and reported claim triangles. Now the claims data is the same for this example and the method is also essentially the same uh, as with the accident year case except for one little twist. Notice in this table that, well, as in the first table, the claims are sorted first by accident year and then by report year. But if we want to build report year triangles, it would be better if it were sorted first by report year and then by accident year. Uh, then we could draw horizontal lines to separate the report year blocks and do everything the same way. 
Um, if this were in Excel, we could easily resort the table to do that, but if it's on paper, you can't. Um, so let's see what we're going to do. Uh, for report year, we've got 2018, then 2019, then 2020, then 2021. So, so far it is sorted by report year. But then we go back to 2020 and it's out of order. So, how are we going to deal with this? Well, I'm going to draw the horizontal lines to separate report years anyway because it almost works out. Okay. So it turns out that the only year that's out of order is 2021 and the entries are zero anyway so we can basically just ignore it. And like I said, the rest of the solution is the same as before. You just add up the numbers in all these different boxes. The boxes are different now from accident year but you still do the same thing. And this is the result. So in step one, now you've got uh, the rows labeled by report years, but it's summed across all accident years. So two, three, and four work exactly the same way, and that is how you solve the problem.